What's up, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman V2013 YouTube channel on this Thursday afternoon. How's everybody doing out there today? Yeah, my allergies are still kicking my ass. Um, my eyes are still a little bit swollen. Um, it's that time of year, and uh, you know I've been through it all my life. And um, I know I was up early this morning, and um, it wasn't. It really wasn't pretty. I had an appointment to attend, and I left here at 8:30 in the morning and uh yeah my eyes were pretty red and swollen so but anyway um a couple things to talk about uh reports about Hideo Itami with a shoulder injury could be out anywhere up to six to eight months this goes along with the injury earlier in the week to Sami Zayn who's going to be out for a little bit of time as well um and of course we all you know Daniel Bryan being out uh, with his injury, and, uh, you know, it's sort of funny, too, because on Monday Night Raw, they don't even bring up Daniel Bryan, and I, I you know, I don't understand this, um, I don't, why would you want the fans to forget about Daniel Bryan, I mean, you don't even bring his name up, why not bring him out for a segment, bring him out and have him, have him address the WWE Universe, I mean, it would be a major, major pop for the WWE, and, the, and uh, we all know the crowd would love it, I mean, that's, pretty much obvious uh but again you know it is the wwe and uh they do things their own way i uh, also been watching some videos this morning um i saw a video on um the reason why dean ambrose was added to the payback main event pay-per-view which is now a fatal four-way was because there's rumors that uh ambrose and reigns are going to turn heel and join seth rollins uh, like the original Shield members used to be, to take out Randy Orton. I disagree with this totally 100%. I don't. It, I, I just don't see it happening. Um, I think Ambrose is actually thrown in the mix because uh, he will lift the crowd for this match, for one thing. Um, and also, I think Ambrose, to be quite honest with you, he's going to get probably... Between him and Orton, we'll probably get the biggest pops of the night uh, in this match. Uh, Roman Reigns being the close second, and obviously Seth Rollins being the heel champion. You know, the crowd is just going to, you know, you know they're going to boo him anyway. But I think Ambrose is really thrown into this match. I think he's going to be the guy thrown in the match to take the pin. And I think he's going to do a lot of good things uh, in this match. Uh, he's going to excite the crowd. Uh, the crowd probably will be unhappy that he, he is the man who takes the pin. But I think uh, right now, with the WWE, with their push of Roman Reigns, I think they've decided, well, we, we, we can't have him take the pin once again from Seth Rollins. I, you know, I don't feel that they think this is probably the, the proper way to go. And, of course, you know, Randy Orton can't always take the pin as well. Um, you know, you can put Randy Orton in the category. A lot of people complain about John Cena. Uh, Randy Orton's in that category as well. I think Orton takes pins a little more often, but I think it's only for the fact that we see a lot more of Randy Orton on WWE TV than we do of John Cena. Um, John Cena usually comes out, has his segment, cuts his promo, has his match. He's done. He's done for the night. And then you don't see him the rest of the night. Whereas, you know, Orton's on throughout the show, Seth Rollins is on throughout the show, as well as Kane, Big Show, and J&J &J Security. So, these guys are pretty much dominating airtime. But I think that's the reason why Ambrose is being thrown in, um, because I think he'll be the fall guy in this Fatal 4-Way. Now, I do believe somewhere down the road, the Shield will get back together, and I think, you know, the WWE does have plans for this. But I don't see it happening really this year. Uh, to me, I don't think it would make any sense. Um, for these guys right now uh, doing their individual uh, matches and everything else, um, this is a big part right now, especially with, you know, Daniel Bryan being out. And, uh, you know, we do, we do have guys like Neville that um, are making his uh, – you know, his spot here in WWE. Uh, but, you know, as always, I mean, you, you you come in and you 
join the main roster and you are sort of like um you got to earn your way and uh neville does have some good matches we've seen him beat barrett um he's had some good matches or a good match with seth rollins as well uh, so he's going to be he's going to be a major major star now with the injuries to Zayn and Hideo with Tommy, I think this is going to really hurt the NXT show next week. Um, I think it's going to take a lot of luster out of it because Tommy was supposed to be involved in a match, I believe, with Tyler Breeze and Finn Balor. So obviously things could change there. And Zayn, of course, was supposed to go up against uh, Kevin Owens, the NXT champion. So um, yeah, so this this really thwarts this show you know, uh, really huge, so, but anyway, um, I just wanted to put all this stuff out here, um, you know, rumors are rumors, and, um, you know, it's, like I said, as far as Ambrose and Reigns going heel in this match, totally would not make any sense whatsoever, um, not saying it couldn't happen, but, uh, you know, watching, Watching wrestling for as long as I have, I you know, I've seen stranger things happen, but I think at this point in time, um, you're not gonna you're not gonna put these three guys back together. Um I just it wouldn't make sense. And Ambrose right now is getting very, very popular. He has been popular for a while. Uh what they need to do with him is continue um having him come out on top in matches. Uh, but like I said, this is a fatal four-way, and uh, you know, and most times in the fatal four-way, if we've if we've all noticed, same thing with the triple threat matches and whatnot, like we saw, um, you know, many times with Brock Lesnar, you know, he may lose the belt, but he's not always the guy that gets pinned, uh, especially if it's a triple threat. Um, and I, th this is pretty much the same scenario. I see Seth Rollins, you know, keeping the WWE World Heavyweight title. And I see him facing Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. And, uh, yeah. Look for Dean Ambrose to put on a, a very good showing in this Fatal 4-Way. Um, and with all that being said, he's going to put on such a good show that, you know, he'll get pinned. But people are going to, you know... They'll be disappointed, but uh, they're not going to be, you know, down on Dean Ambrose because he did put on a good showing. So, anyway, those are my thoughts and my opinions for today. This is a Thursday, May 7th. Everybody, have yourself a great day. Um, and if you have allergies like I do, let me tell you something. When the, the leaves come out on the trees, the first thing of the year, all of a sudden, you know, you get the headaches, you get the, the runny, the runny eyes, the swollen eyes, and it, you know, then you get the constant drip in your throat, sinus drip. It, it's, it really sucks, to be honest with you. And I, you know, I've bought medication uh, to, you know, help ease it, but sometimes, you know, the medication just makes you tired and whatnot. And sometimes you say, oh, the hell with it, you know, just try to live through the day and get through the day. So anyway, we'll see y'all next time. Um, this is the Iceman. Peace out, everybody.